Okay, here we go. Slovakia versus Ukraine. Slovakia were odds on to get beat, but and now they're plus 275 on the back of a victory. Ukraine with one of the biggest movers from plus 120 down to minus 115 to start off with a win, and they didn't even score and conceded free. And Ukraine are still plus 110. The goal's over or under two and a half, and the over is at plus 115. I thought... The over here could work. Both of them have got a fight too for now. The draw is a runner, maybe at plus 225, but I'd prefer to go with 2 2 at around plus 1200. Uh, Alex, where do you see this game going? Because Slovakia at plus 275 and minus 130. Double chance after what we saw from Ukraine. I think the value is all with the Slovaks. Definitely. Uh, Ukraine deflated, uh, deflated squad. Uh, they entered in the first match uh, again, like uh, they thought that they are winners from the first minute. They only uh, recorded two shots uh, on goal, but uh, that came in the last 20 minutes of the game when Romania were already three goals up. Uh, there there was no plan B there. Every, every ball on Mudrika, uh, he did nothing. Uh, sloppy on the ball, like... Uh, uh, crosses uh, left and right, but uh, the speed was there, but uh, no last touch, you know. Uh, there were many, many players uh, waiting for balls inside the box, but Modrika didn't deliver. Like, right now, I don't know what he's doing in the Premier League, and uh, uh, probably it, it will be... He will not, because you mentioned the Premier League uh, schedule, I don't think that he should look at that Premier League schedule because he will be out in no time after the Euros if someone pays a lot of money for him. Uh, Slovakia, very nice, uh, uh, good defense uh, against uh, uh, Belgium uh, with uh, two VAR goals uh, for Belgium. Uh, um, but uh, I think that Slovakia did a perfect game defend and uh, strike on the break. This is what they uh, did, and they could have scored uh, another one in the last half an hour of the game. They did a good match, and uh, they, they are very athletic players. They are tall, player, tall, tall players, and you, you can't catch them on an uh, aerial ball. So I think that the Ukrainian should, and probably they will, uh, try to um, uh, open spaces in the middle of the box, right? With the, with the players there in the, in the, in the box. But... Slovakia were too good against Belgium, and I don't see them losing this one. So I'm really going uh, draw double chance here, because again, Ukrainian, uh, the Ukrainian side was very deflated, and I don't see them. Now I see Ukrainian, uh, the Ukrainian team fourth in the standings after the first two games, and maybe they will go back home or where they will go because probably they will not go in their countries because of the war and uh, all those uh, problems happening politically but uh yeah no chance against uh, this uh, slovakia very good defensive side yeah there's a big problem in this group because if ukraine win and belgium win after two games all three teams are going to be on three and uh it's going to be wow is uh, the last game is going to be almost like a double jeopardy um Kwaku, do we see ukraine scoring twice here against this slovak defense who's happy with a draw I see them scoring. Twice remains to be seen. Contrast the emotions for both of these teams after the first yeah. game. Slovakia riding the crest of a wave after beating a Belgium team who are there on the last on their last legs. Ukraine, a lot of people's dark horses before this tournament suffered yeah. one of the most humiliating defeats in their history, losing three uh, nil against Romania. And so this is a tough one to call. Really, we thought Slovakia would probably be the team that comes bottom of this group, and Ukraine would probably finish first or second. Mm -hmm. And now the group's upside down. And you rightly pointed out, Flash, is that there's a situation that after two games in this group, all the teams could be on three points, which will make for an absolutely incredible final game in the group. I don't know who to pick in this one. I almost left this game alone, but I, I, I left some games alone in the first week and I left some money on the table that I wasn't too happy with. I fancy both teams to score in this one because they both need to score because they've both got things to play for. Yeah, um, I thought goals were on the cards as well, but I just, I just thought that Ukraine have got to open up. They've, it's all like their whole tournament is in this next 90 minutes. The Slovaks are more than happy with a point. But if you give them an opportunity to go and hit you on the break, because that was the other thing I found about Ukraine, is they were at their most dangerous when they were actually attacking. Um, and, they, and they played too many passes and they were too predictable. 
And yet the Slovaks, they had a little gem and a little ace up their sleeve because they had double agent Lukaku playing for them as well. So, I mean, listen, if, you, if you're playing with 12 men and one of them, that 12th man is actually the opposing centre forward who's meant to score goals, then you can't get beat because he was an absolute joke again uh, which so he needs to maybe Lukaku to score at any time when we get to that game um, let's have a little look at the official picks here because really it's all about goals and don't try and be brave Slovakia double chance at minus 130 that's a really uh, really good selection that Alex welcome back uh, both teams scoring over a two and a half at plus 150 I think they've got to keep going for the full 95 minutes both teams score minus 120 like all three of them to be honest um Maybe uh, maybe a nice little 2-1 Slovakia top the group. Cool, that would be amazing. 